What you're going to hear in this video is a culmination of the lifetime that I've led of study, work, living, existing. It is truly Kabbalah in real time because this only came to me yesterday and I haven't written it down. So it's oral. I have no, no finalized words that I'm going to say and there's going to be mistakes. But the mistakes are part of it. As we're approaching Pesach, Passover, I won't be observing it with you. It's not that I'm skipping Passover, skipping Pesach. It's just that I'm on a far journey. And this far journey is stipulated in the text when we talk about Pesach Sheni, hopefully I'll be observing Pesach Sheni. But I'm not required to do Pesach. And the reason why is, I think the Nazir is not required to do Pesach that he's taken a vow on Pesach, so to speak, to be a Nazir. And so he is out of the community for 30 days until Pesach Sheni. And as you will see, not only that, I don't think he's supposed to participate in the counting of the, of the Omer until the 29th day, which would be, uh, you know, the, the beginning of the <clears throat> third week, kind of uh, 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 Hesed Shebenetzach, uh, Hesed, excuse me, beginning of the, 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 uh, what is it, fifth week in uh, Hesed Shiba Hood. Because he's removed until then. We'll get to that. It all starts, and this is a, this is a, this is a modern one just this morning even after I was going to sit down and say this. The nausea is the sota. The nausea is the sota. Okay? The nausea is the woman who sinned. The, the wife that sinned. In portion nazo. And this is Remember, we're going to do this with an analysis of the exact text. The analysis of the exact text in the Torah. In, in Numbers, in uh, uh, Bamidbar, Numbers 5, um, <clears throat> verse 12, it says here, if any man's wife go aside and act unfaithfully, or what they call a spirit of folly. So, and it's, here, here's the big deal, because this is what I found this morning when I looked at this section, the ish ish it's called. Ish ish, which is brought down in English as any man, uh, 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 if any man's, but ish ish means a special man. And why is I, am I pointing out ish ish? Because uh, it's said here in 
in in the idea of the sota, the bringing of the sota, ishish, and then when we talk about the second Pesach in Numbers nine. Nine. Now this is the second Pesach. It says here, uh, uh, on 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 verse uh, nine, and then verse ten. Tick tock, tick tock. Speak unto the children of Israel and say, and here we are, Ish, Ish, Ki Yiye Tame Lenefesh, Ish, Ish, if any one of you is Tame of a dead body, which is a relationship to a nausea also, or on a Derek Rohoka, with a dot over the hay, and that's one of the big secrets. Derek Raho Ka with the hay. So, Ish Ish Ki Yi Ye. That Li Yi Ye is the big deal. Yi Ye is the big deal because Yi Ye is the 30 day period. Yud Hey, Yud Hey, which is the Nazir oath. And ish, ish is also spoken again. Like it is in the beginning of the whole process when they start the sota ritual. Ish, ish. Ish, ish is Hashem. And let me show you how it's got to be Hashem. See? Ish Ish is Hashem. Ish Ish is the special man, the Sota, and, and, and someone else who has a relation to Ish Ish. Ish Ish ki, if any man will be Tamei, the Nefesh. So it's a, it's a special man. Ish Ish, if you do the Gematria, Ish is Aleph 111, Yud. 130, uh, uh, 20, 131, Shin, 360. So 131 and 360 is nine is 491. Plus the nine letters of uh, Aleph, Yud, Shin, that's 500. 500 times 2, Ish, Ish, is 1,000. 1,000 is Aleph. Olive, the large olive. The olive that you protect yourself from when you block and say the Shema, the olive is in the hand of the Shema. When you say that, you are the feminine, you are the wife of God. This is no doubt different than saying the Shema. You are the wife of God. The whole idea is that that, the, that his wife is a sota, and if he if she was unfaithful, he gets the same punishment, which I got in my groin as a hernia for twenty five years. To bring it down into the real, and in my groin area is the yesod, and just let's see, let's spell the word sota. Sh Samak, Vav, Tet, Hey, 60 for Shamak. Vav, six, 66. Tet, nine, that's 75. Hey, 80, that's the same as Yesod. Ish, Ish, this, this special man, now we're going back to numbers. Uh, uh, 10 
so it's uh, Numbers 9, verse 10. Ish, ish, ki, yi, yay. That's the real secret because in the, in, in, in the whole idea of the, of the naso, nausea, oh, I don't have that now. He, 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 the nausea will be, let me even find that now. That's on chapter 7 in, in, in uh, 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 Bamidbar, Numbers. Let's see. Let's see where we got ye, ye. Here it is. In verse 5, he will be uh, uh, consecrated, I don't know, Kodesh ye, ye. See, the, another word is also when you look at all this, le Adonai, la Adonai. That's at 30, to Adonai. That's also in these things. But Kodesh ye ye. And this is the only time in the Talmud, too, that the, that the gematria of it becomes the halakha. Even for those pe people from... the background of, say, why you Torah don't believe in gematria, the gematria of this is the gematria of the 30 days of the nausea. Yi ye, it will be. And yi ye, yud he, yud he, yi ye, is the way you're going to spell yud he vav he in olam haba. The yud hey on top will be the same as the yud hey here on the bottom. The yud hey of heaven will be the same as the yud hey on earth. It won't be vav hey down here. It'll be yud hey down here. It's a mirror image. And that's the number 30. And that's the same way that the zelem leaves 30 days before. And then the death. And here we have the same thing. On Pesach, if somebody is on a far journey, Ishish ki yiye tame lenefesh, tame lenefesh, by the way, there's a line in between it that separates it, but tame lenefesh is. Uh, 300, 430, no, 430 and 50. Tame Nefesh, by the way, is, 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 uh, is without the Lamed in there, is, is 480. But Tame Nefesh, Tame is a wonderful word here because it's 50, and that's the 50th gate of Bina. Tame in a certain sense, is the 50th gate. To be Tame, that one gate. It's almost, yeah, in fact, that's, for me, that's new. Tame is the 50th gate. One in 50. Like one in sixty, or one in forty, the three ways of Taruma. Tame is to be the fiftieth gate. So if he's Tame la Nefesh, if he's if he's Tame in that fiftieth gate, or he's Derek la Rohoka, Rohoka. And this is the big deal. That means Derek Rahoka in a far journey. But the word Derek has sexual connotations. If you're in a, a Derek, that's sexual, sexual methodology, a sexual way. And a Rahoka, that means he's far off. Not pure, so to speak. Rahoka, and then the hay 
It's got a dot. And but rahok, by the way, is not a feminine word. So the hey means in a in a in a space, in a place. And that place, that hey, by the way, that's the secret of Pesach. Because the letter hey is Pesach. Ha. When it starts off the Haggadah in the Aramaic. Ha Lachman. Ha Ya. Anya. That, that hey, that first letter is the whole Pesach. And that hey is three different ways. And those are the three matzahs of Pesach. And the hey with the broken left leg is, is matzah. As opposed to hummets. Hummets has the het, which is his straight leg in the left. And then the hay breaks the leg. In a derek, that's a sexual intercourse, rahokha, removed. Why? The whole thing is here, he's removed because of his uh, sexual stuff, which has to do with the sota, which has to do with the nas, with the na, uh, 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 nausea. And it has to do with the idea that the nausea, the sota, the derek, the, the person who isn't in Pesach here, is actually the wife of God. And as my father was dying, he said, last few weeks, he said, oh, could a man, could a man marry his own son? And in a certain sense, this is. And the son here, the, the wife, the man becomes a wife. He's a ish ish, a special man, yeah, an isha ish, a woman to a man. And this special man, ish ish, is Hashem, and the isha ish is the isha ish is, is me, related to Hashem, related to the Father. And then he says, or on uh, uh, Lahem or on his generations, and he make a Pesach le uh, la Adonai. Pesach le Adonai. On the 14th day. And then it goes on. Pesach le, that, that Lamed, le la Adonai. La Adonai. That, by the way, is Yom. That's 56, which is Yom HaKippurim. After, so that Lamed here is also the 30. The 30 of the Nazir of the Yiye. So what does this mean now? That somebody who's on a far journey, that means a real spiritual trip. <laughs> He's on a spiritual trip. He doesn't belong here with the matzahs or worried about the Yetzihara. He's already done his thing about the Yetzihara with the, with the Nazir. Oh, for 30 days, he's removing himself. So he's removed himself on Pesach, so to speak. He's taken a vow on Pesach for 30 days to be a Nazir. He's taking a 30-day purification. And for that, it's, 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 it's not the matzah deal. Something else. One of the reasons he takes the purification at this time is he doesn't drink wine. And part of the mitzvah, uh, if he's a nausea, and part of the mitzvah is of, of, not, of Pesach is the four cups of wine. So he removes himself from the wine. You see? And Hametz, Hametz, 
You see, stuff like that. Uh, Hamets of grapes, of wine, vinegar of wine. He removes himself from all that. See? So he's removed himself from Hamets. Hamets. In, in a different type of vow. Extend it, you know, biblically it's only one day, Pesach. They've extended it eight days for the Hamets. For those who participate in the second Pesach, they extended it 30 days. You see? And so they don't celebrate the first Pesach. They want to be pure for the second Pesach. And the real deal in the second Pesach is that you can be pure within the impure. Catch it? Pure within the impure. Again, pure within the impure because you eat your matzah and, and mara within the impure. You will eat it in the regular world. You don't have to cleanse yourself. You don't have to clean the body. You don't have to clean the house with a, with a candle looking at everything. You see. You've done it for 30 days and then if you're worthy, then you do the second Pesach. So it's a isha, it's an ish ish. It's a special man, just like in the original stuff with the sota. It's ish ish. Even in this stuff with the with the second Pesach, they say, "Oh, if the, there are anashim that come and ask," and then Moses says, "Oh, I'll go and get the answer," and he comes back, and the answer is ish ish. It's not the anashim. It's the special man who doesn't do Pesach, who removes himself from the group. Because you see, when, like in the building here, people getting deliveries of Pesach, of, uh, and they think it's a big deal, you see, of wine, of wine and, and matzah. And they think they're pure. And they're going to read the Haggadah. We were slaves in Egypt. They're going to lie on their left side like an olive. The uh, nausea knows he's a sota. He's a sexual sinner. And that's the beauty. That's the beauty. So I didn't cover all of these things here. I haven't covered it all. All I know is I'm on a far journey. And a derek removed, it's a, a, it's a, a euphemism for sexuality. Derek is a euphemism for sexual intercourse. Removed. Rahoka with a hay. And that hay is I'm removed from the hay, from the Pesach, from the matzah right now. And I'm going to go 30 days in my vow. It's a Nazia vow. It's, it, and even for someone like me, who. who and, and why is the Nazia removed? Because by definition, he's a sinner. So he knows about the matzah, knows about the yetzehara, humans, hamats. knows about all that, and that's why it's a second Pesach. He's removed from the community. That's what this means. Removed from the community. So all this is related. This is 
kind of new. The Sota ritual, the Nazir, all starting from the Ish Ish of the man who suspects his wife, and that's Hashem himself. The, the wife is the Nazir. That's why the Nazir can be either a man or a woman. And then we come into not the Sota ritual, the, the Sota ritual leads in the next Pasha to the second Pesach. You see, for those who are ritually impure. The dead body. Or on a, dis for, on a distant journey. Sexual euphemism. Derek Harohok. And this, this, this is the second Pesach. And it has the language, Loshon, of the Yiye and the Nazia words. And it has 30 days until one rejoins the community, so to speak. Which is that 30-day period of the Zelem, and it's the 30-day period of the Nazir Oath. Because even when per someone's a permanent Nazir, there's kind of like a renewal every 30 days. Because every 30 days is a Rosh Hodesh. And every 30 days, that becomes the feminine. The, 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 the feminine is the Rosh Hodesh. The woman's period. And so all this is, is that's what's new. And you haven't heard this because nobody's ever said it, and quite frankly. What can I say? 